There's a lot of changing sort of ecosystem in the um, in cable news, fair and balanced, or opinionated, or funny, or snarky, uh, left, right. What's your point of view? What are you trying to accomplish in your show? Uh, I try to hopefully bring the news in a responsible, serious way and update our viewers on what's going on. My hope is that uh, at the end of my newscast, whether the Situation Room or my Sunday show late edition, that the viewer will, will have emerged a little bit smarter and said, you know, I, I learned something during the course of that hour or two hours or whatever. And so uh, I'm sort of an old school kind of uh, serious hard news reporter who likes to do the news in a, in a responsible way and, and uh, not necessarily showcase my opinion, but to try to get some, some information uh, out of the uh, guests or uh, out of the news stories that we're doing. I'm curious by nature. I, ever since I was a little kid, I've always been curious, and, and I, I feel this is an opportunity for me to pick brains of smart people, newsmakers and others. So what you do is, when you have a major newsmaker on, you ask you know, the serious, tough, important questions that, uh, that, that might get some, some new information out of that person. Uh, and so very often, we'll look at that person's record, see the statements that person has made over the years, and try to uh, move the story forward, as they say. And that's what I just try to do. And very techniques you do, you throw criticisms that have been leveled against this person from others, and you you know you read a quote, or you play a soundbite, uh, but uh, in the end it's just a matter of if you're pressing in a polite but responsible way, I think you're, you're more effective in getting that information out of that person. So let's talk about just, and the last question is about, you know, YouTube, uh, also embeddable video that's shared around from you guys and other news sources now that's shared. What's the impact of citizen no, video or video you guys do? In, in a way, how has video transformed this in this election cycle? Uh, it's, it's all, you know, omnipresent, if you will. I mean, you go to the web and you can see clips from all over the place. And we do it at CNN. We have these eye reports that come in. We have eye reporters all over. They send us their video. They send us their reports. Some of them get on the air, some don't get on the air, some just get on the website, some don't get on the website. But it's, uh, it's amazing what's going on if you think of the technology and you think the way this has altered the journalistic uh, horizon over these past you know, couple of three years. Uh, and it's going to be even more dramatic in the years to come. So I welcome it. I think it's a good thing. And the, and the influence? It's, it's hard to say. Well, a lot of times, I, I remember when uh, that bridge in Minneapolis went down. Uh, uh, some of the earliest reports were, were those eye reports, just you know, people from their balconies showing us what was going on uh, before we could get our crews in place or other local affiliates could get their crews in place. We were getting reports from uh, just average citizens who happened to have a camera, uh, even a phone, mm -hmm. uh, and they were sending it to us, and it's just revolutionized the way we do news. So, Wolf, one last question. Are you going to be really depressed after the election? No. I mean, is there going to be a big decompression no. for it'll you and your very, colleagues? No, it'll be very happy to yeah. move on <laughs> and uh, get on to the next big story. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate uh, all your great work. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you very Thank much. You.